Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Noob Readers. My name is Kiran and in this video, I'll be giving you guys my mini bookshelf tour and talk about all the books that I own. Now, before actually creating this video, I was a little skeptical whether I should create this bookshelf tour or not because my collection is so small. But then I decided to just go for it because I know that as the time will progress, I will have a lot more books. So without further ado, let's begin this bookshelf tour. Okay, so we'll start off from the left hand side, this tiny little book that I find is The YouTube Stars of India by Ajitaba Bose. So the only reason for me to buy this particular book was to help the cafe that I visited because it was a reader's cafe. So I have created a vlog about it. I'll link that in the description down below or over there. So you can go and check that out. But yes, so this is basically about the YouTube stars like Carrie Minati and Prajakta Kohli's channel and all of these Indian creators. To be very honest, I haven't read it. Like literally, it's been on my shelf. I think the only reason why I bought this book is to get the motivation because I also want to be like a huge YouTuber someday. Like I don't know whether I'll be able to or not, but still it kind of gave me a lot of motivation by just looking at this book. So I will definitely go and read it. But yes, I cannot say anything about it because I haven't read it. So yeah, this is the first book that's there on my shelf. Okay, so apart from that, I have these two very pretty mangas that, and both of these belong to Boruto and just just look at it. So I'll talk about first the volume one and so this is how it looks and so you can see that it's a manga and it's just so pretty. Now this is the first manga that I bought and I got really interested in it just because of Naruto because I'm a huge Naruto fan and I just could not buy the Naruto manga so I decided to go and buy all the Boruto manga so I just was able to kind of buy the first two. I hope that in future I'll be able to buy all the volumes for Boruto. So yeah, this is the only manga that is there on my shelf. So the next book that we have is Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami. Now I have a very weird connection or I can say experience with Haruki Murakami's books because literally they always end up making me extremely, extremely angry because of whatever that's going on inside them and literally they just do not make sense. Like I DNF this book after reading more than half of it, like literally because this book literally felt like it is a collection of short stories with like recurring characters. Like literally, it didn't, it didn't feel like it had a single plot. It literally talks about a lot of different unusual things that are like happening with the characters who are like the same characters, but literally they, all those events just do not have any connection with each other. Like literally, that's how weird it is. Like it literally does not have a plot. I literally kept on reading just to know what's the connection between all of these characters and all of these events. And I just wanted to know that, but even after reading the f more than half of this book, I just could not make any sense of it. So I just, I just gave up. I did, I knew that even if I'll complete this book, I will hate it because it just literally doesn't make any sense. So that's why I have not finished this book. And I think that I will go and pick up this book again someday because I really want to finish it and want to know how all those events kind of make sense together as a plot because I just do not think this, this has a plot. So yeah, not a big fan of this book. So if you have read this book, please let me know in the comments down below that does it make any sense to you or not? Okay, so the next book is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Now, this is a very tiny little book and I read it this Christmas and this was literally my first read of this book and I absolutely loved it. Now, I was not expecting it to be a ghost story because I literally went into it blind. Like I had no idea what this book was about and I was just not, not disappointed because I loved it so much. It was just such a sweet little spooky story and with a great message. Like literally the message was so good and it was written so well, a very, very well written classic and I absolutely loved it. So the next book we have is Circe by Madeline Miller. Now I became a huge fan of Madeline Miller after reading The Song of Achilles because the writing style of that book was absolutely amazing and I just, just love it so much. So I decided to pick this up and 
it's it's really sad that i haven't finished this book yet like literally i started reading it went into like halfway into this book and was just not interested enough and i just i just could not finish it because i am literally really sad because i know that madeline miller is an amazing writer so yes i will go and finish this book and will let you know how i feel about it but yes i mean just look at the cover i love it so much it's so beautiful i mean when i was reading it it was literally not that interesting to me but yes i will definitely give a second chance to this book okay so the next we have six of rose by lee bardugo and i love this book i love this book so much and i just cannot cannot talk about this enough because i have literally mentioned this book in my top 20 reads of 2021 as well if you haven't seen that video i link that in the description down below as well please go and watch it yeah shadow and bone trilogy is literally not my thing but this book loved it now i haven't read the second book in this duology which is called crooked kingdom so i'll go and read that and we'll let you know how is it but absolutely love six of crows so the next book on my bookshelf is the selection by kiera cas and the only reason why i bought this book is book talk like literally this is the book that book talk made me buy and i thought that i'll absolutely hate this book when i bought it but it was literally not that bad and i think i kind of enjoyed it the best part about this book is the whole level system where we have the people divided into different classes through this number system where we have numbers from 1 2 3 4 and like that's how the classes are defined in this book which i think was extremely unique but yes i went and read the second part of this series as well and i absolutely hated it so yeah so i think if you want you can read this as well so the next book on my bookshelf is a touch of eternity by durjoy datta and this book like just look at the cover i absolutely love the cover but i haven't read this book like literally this is literally the first Indian author book that I bought I have not read a lot of Indian authors so I wanted to go and read more of them I know that Durjoy Datta is extremely extremely loved in India so I really want to know what's so special about this book that people love it so much Okay so the next book on my bookshelf is And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie and I love this book I love this book so much because of Agatha Christie and her writing it's just so well written and all of her murder mysteries are just so 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 good and i'm never able to tell who the actual murderer is and that's like the best part about her books and i'm just a huge agatha christie fan and i recommend this book to all of you okay so the next book on my bookshelf is 1984 by george orwell and this is a classic and everyone just loves this book and i love george orwell because of his writings and the way he kind of adds these political situations in this book so that was the reason why i picked it up like animal farm was just so well written and i absolutely loved it but when i was reading this book this literally got so so difficult to get through so i decided to take a break and so that's why i haven't finished this book yet so i will pick up this book again and will let you know how is it so the next book on my bookshelf is persuasion by jane austen now jane austen has written pride and prejudice which is like my favorite romance book of all time but when i read this book i was just not that impressed i think it was extremely boring yeah i'm literally not a big fan of persuasion if you guys have read this book do let me know do you also think that this was like a little boring to read so the next book on my bookshelf is suhel dev the king who saved india by amish tripathi now i know that amish tripathi is loved by so many indians and he's literally like literally the best selling author but i have not finished this book i think i'm not a big fan of the writing of amish and i was literally not able to get through it so the next book on my bookshelf is twilight by stephanie meyer now the only reason why i bought this book is to talk shit about it and and that's just me being honest because i i just hated the twilight movies like i was a huge fan of them when i was a teenager which which is extremely weird like i watched them again as an adult and i definitely say that i hated them and they were just literally so cringy and then i always see people saying that no the books are better the books are better and movies are like bad 
So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll give Twilight a chance. So that's why I decided to pick this book. I started reading this book and then I literally gave up because of how bad it is. Like literally Edward, how, whatever that Edward is doing and how he's just literally so bad. I, I just hate it. I knew that even if I wanted to talk shit about this book, I was just not able to get through this torture. Like that's how I felt. So yeah so the next book on my shelf is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte now this is a very very loved romance story I guess and I have reviewed this book and talked about it in detail so I'll put that review in the description down below so you can go and watch it but I am not a big fan of this romance bike because literally it was very toxic according to me so yeah you can go and watch that review so the next book on my bookshelf is a slow fire burning by paula hawkins now i am a huge fan of paula hawkins book that is the girl on the train and so that's why this was literally my most anticipated read of like 2021 because i thought that i'll absolutely love it but it was just an okayish book and I was not a big fan and I have created a dedicated review of this as well. I'll link that in the description down below as well. If you haven't watched it, you can go and do watch it. So the first book on this shelf is Birthday Girl by Murakami and I've already told you I have very weird connection with Murakami and a very... I like literally all my experiences with Murakami's books have been extremely weird. So I have created a dedicated review of this book like literally it's it's just a tiny little thing like it literally had like 42 pages and it's, it's a weird way the book ends so please go and watch that review and do let me know what do you think happened in this book so next up we have Frankenstein by Mary Shelley oh my god I just finished reading this book and I I just love it so much I will create a dedicated review of this book and then you'll know about my thoughts but Oh my god, I love this classic. I am so happy that I picked it up and read it because of you guys, because you wanted me to read this classic. So thank you so much for making me read this because I love it. I love the writing, everything about it. It's just so well done. And I just cannot even believe that Mary Shelley wrote it when she was a teenager. Like that's brilliant. Like literally that's just brilliant. I don't know what else to say absolutely love this classic so the next one on the list we have the eye of the world by robert jordan now this is a classic fantasy series and this is the first book in that series and i absolutely love it i have created dedicated videos on this particular series and i've created literally a lot of content on wheel of time on my channel so you can go and watch that i'll link all the videos in the description down below so this is literally the first book in that series and then we have the second book which is The Great Hunt and the third book which is The Dragon Reborn. So these are the three books in the Wheel of Time series and you can find all the dedicated reviews in the description down below. So absolutely love this series and highly recommend it to all of you. So the next book on my bookshelf is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. Yeah so that's how the name is pronounced and I was just butchering her name earlier so I'm extremely sorry for that. So this is a self-help book and I have very mixed opinion about this book. So I'll create a dedicated review and then we'll let you know what do I think. But yes, I think I, I love this cover and because of how bright and yellow it is. So yeah, it's a self-help book with a lot of good things. But yes, I have very mixed reviews about this book. So wait for the review then i'll talk about it in detail next up we have the witcher series so this is another fantasy series that i am a huge fan of now i came to know about witcher through the netflix adaptation and i became a fan instantly so these are the first two short stories sword of destiny and the last wish and sword of destiny and then i have read the first book in the series which is blood of elves now i have already reviewed these two short stories and you'll find the links in the description and i haven't reviewed blood of elves yet i think about blood of elves i'll only say that it was not that good like yeah i was expecting a lot more from this book but yeah i mean it kind of felt like a lot of things are about to happen in this book but nothing kind of happened in this like literally we just see that siri is kind of getting all her training and she's 
training with Geralt to become a witcher and she's also kind of training her magic with Yennefer. So, so we know that it's, it's a lot of preparations I think in this book and I hope that when we read further in like the other books it will be a lot more interesting than this. But yeah, I was, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little disappointed with this one. So next up we have the first book in the Lord of the Rings series which is The Fellowship of the Ring and you can see how much I have annotated this book and oh my god I want to create a dedicated review on this book and talk about it because there are literally a lot of things to talk about like you can definitely feel that a lot of books are inspired by this book like you can definitely see that because I have seen a lot of times when I was just saying that that kind of reminded me of Harry Potter and that kind of reminded me of the Wheel of Time and so yeah I think I totally understand why this book is considered as an inspiration for a lot of different authors so yes I will definitely say that I was a little bored when I was reading this book but you can expect that because it's a classic fantasy and I know that Tolkien just loves describing and he loves to describe all the things and which can kind of make a lot of impact on the pacing so I think pacing was my biggest issue with this book but I will create a dedicated review of this book and then let you know what I think about this book so be ready for that review and be on the lookout so the next book on my shelf is Dune by Frank Herbert now this is a science fiction and it's another classic you can say in the science fiction genre and the movie came out so I wanted to read the book first but I read like the first hundred pages and then could not get through this book like literally there's literally so much information that you need to remember and I mean just look at the thickness of this book it's huge so yeah I just kind of gave up and I was not able to get through this book so I will try to read this again and kind of try to get through it using the audiobook the next time because I think that will make it a little easier for me so if you have read this book do let me know in the comments down below that in the beginning was it really difficult for you to or not so the next book that I have is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir and I love this book I love the science fiction so much and I absolutely became a fan of Andy Weir if you haven't read this book yet please go and read it you will not be disappointed last but not the least I have the picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and this is the only hardcover that I own and it's, it's just gorgeous I love it it's absolutely beautiful and this is another classic now I have no idea about this book what this is about I have never read it so if you want me to read this book next month in the month of February because I have decided to read one classic every single month do let me know in the comments down below and yeah I just cannot wait to start reading it so that's it these are all the books that I own these are not a lot like yeah I mean they're like literally less than 30 but yes I absolutely love all of those books and I'm really happy that I have collected all of them but I know that with time my collection is going to increase and then I let you know all the new books that I have added to my collection so please be on the lookout for that and if you like this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one bye bye take care